God, we've been uh, slapped around by Sony's Spider-Man villain verse, eh? Beaten down by Morbius and Madam Web, and just when you think they're about to go for that KO punch... Venom, The Last Dance. Eddie and Venom, on the run, face pursuit from both worlds. As circumstances tighten, they're compelled to make a heart-wrenching choice that can mark the end of their symbiotic partnership. It's a lot of fluff for essentially saying the baddies need this MacGuffin item and Eddie and Venom are on the run. I've been doing this as a hobby long enough to have now reviewed the second Venom and I rewatched it as a memory jog. God, I have really learned from the power of editing since then. <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't a fan and I definitely wasn't hugely into the first either. So I'll be honest, I had like zero expectations for this given the last experience and... Uh, it actually wasn't that bad. Which doesn't sound like I'm saying much, but I was so ready to go in hating this. <laughs> I just never expected to come out thinking this. This one is a bit of fun, actually. But of course, that's with the side salad of shit that you're going to have to look past in order to enjoy it. But there is a lot going right for this still. Firstly, the story, I guess. It's basically divided into two parts. Part one is the Tom Hardy Venom buddy up story. And that's a decent strength of this film. Tom Hardy is really single-handedly carrying these movies. The pair are pretty funny together. And I think after two films, they finally found that stride and balance between being not irritating yet still comedic, the bond is convincing and you feel invested. Part 2 is the side with all the human actors that I just couldn't care less about still. Which is a shame as there's some good actors in there, but Chiwetel Ejiofor and Juno Temple's characters just could have been played by anyone. Not through their faults necessarily, it's more the dialogue and the characters themselves. Although having watched Juno Temple and Ted Lasso, it makes it very hard to listen to her put on an American accent. But these two strands eventually weave together to give us what is actually a pretty entertaining final act. Genuinely surprised with the amount going on with it. The main baddie is also for once not a carbon copy of our main hero, which honestly it's about time that they learn from those mistakes. The trailers tease Noel as the villain. Mm, he's not. Classic Sony to save it for the end credit stuff again. <laughs> yeah, we get some fun Venom action and different forms throughout, and the CGI has always been a consistently good factor throughout these films, and it stays strong here too. I mean, there's a couple of iffy moments, weirdly one involving a fake outside screen that they use when they're shooting the inside of a driving van. Just looks really weird. Oh yeah, Reese Ethan's is in here too. I mean, his character's weird, but he's kind of fun in it. His family's kind of heavily shooed in, basically just to give Venom a reason to save someone. Mm, look, I'm not dying to see another one of these, but we'll see if Tom Hardy wants to come back and do this again or not. I'm fine with this being how it ends, if that's the case. I think it ends the trilogy on a, a high, or at least higher than what it was before. The first film's pretty mid, second being absolute garbage, and then this being dumb but still a bit of fun. So I'd recommend this, given you don't hate the first Venom all too much, because it's fairly similar to that, I guess, and if comedic Tom Hardy is something that will keep you engaged. The fight at the end I do think is pretty decent all things considered and so based on those points I'd probably lean towards recommends. Who'd have thought eh? It's okay I can't wait for Craven to once again lower my overall opinions on the Sony villain verse again. So yeah Venom 3 have you seen this already? If so let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video feel free to leave a like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff and as always stay tuned for more reviews on movies, anime and video games. Until next time guys take care bye bye.